Hi there, my name is Brian and welcome on my channel on 3D printing. This channel is all about 3D printing and how to get the best results out of your printer. On this channel I am using the XYZ printing DaVinci Pro printer. One of the best printers for its money because you can buy this printer for about $700 or euros and you get a very good printer out of it. But when you start printing for the very first time, there are some things you need to know. First, you need to know what kind of materials you are going to use. This printer can print PLA, ABS, nylon, PET, PETG, that kind of plastics. All these plastics do have their own characteristics. So you have to set your printer manually to those characteristics you are going to use. Then, when you are printing with this material, you will see you get very good results. For the first print, we are going to use ABS, because ABS is the spool you get supplied with the printer. This printer can also handle external PLA or ABS or other filaments, because you can use an open source filament on this printer. The thing is, you can use every type of filament you like to, as long as the printer can handle it. So for the very first print, you are going to use this ABS. And ABS is a great material, but it has some problems. One of the problems is that it's not sticking that very good to the print bed. So you have to do something to get it more sticky. And the way to do it is to glue something to your aluminum print bed and use that as a heat transformer, so the heat from the print bed goes to the print. I use Captain Tape for it. Captain Tape is a very nice tape you can use and when applied to the aluminum print bed you will get it very very sticky. Besides that I also use glue stick and glue stick I think is one of the best ways to get Captain Tape even more sticky. So Captain Tape and glue stick together make a very very good print bed. Then the print bed for ABS has to be 90 degrees. You can't go higher with this printer, otherwise it would have been 100 degrees, because 100 degrees would even be better than that. But because this printer can't get higher than 90 degrees, you will set it to 90 degrees. Then you have to set your nozzle temperature. Well, actually you don't have to set it because you use a cartridge, and when you're using the cartridge, all those settings will be done for you. But when you're using an external spool of filament, you have to give those values for yourself. And then you will have to know that ABS will be printed around 210 and 240 degrees Celsius. So your nozzle temperature will be one of those values. Then, when you uh, have your printer ready to print the very first print, you need some models to print. Here on my computer you can see a website which is called thingiverse.com. On thingiverse you can find a lot of models, great models, you can get for free. So you can download those models and they come as STL files. And those STL files are the files which are the, the creations which other people have made and you can print them. But before your printer can handle them, you have to convert them to a format your printer understands. So you got those STL files on your computer there, but you have to get them to your printer and it won't work directly from STL. Supplied with your computer and your printer, there is a program called XYZware for Pro. With this program, XYZware for Pro, you can slice these STL files into G code. And those files they are called .3w. When you slice your SDL file, it's going to make another file of it. And this is a file which are all layers which your printer can print. Because your printer prints layer by layer by layer by layer. And then when the G-code files are made in those .3w format, your printer will start doing something. Your print will be transferred to the printer and then your printer starts heating its bed. 
And you can see on the display your bed gets to 90 degrees Celsius. Also, your nozzle temperature will rise all the way up to 210 to 240 degrees Celsius. And then when that happens, the printer will start to print the very first layer. And this first layer is very important to watch. Because when your printer is starting with the first layer, you have to take a look if everything goes okay. This first layer can go wrong, because uh, when the printer head, the nozzle, is way too high above the, the print bed, then the plastic won't stick to the print bed. And when it's too low, it's going to uh, fall out in, in, in a weird shape. But then it will be a ribble. And when your print head goes to print the second layer, it will scratch the first layer, and then the first layer will get loose from the print bed. So you have to take very good care of the first three to four layers your printer is going to lay down. After that, when the first four layers are there, then you can start, stop watching your printer because you know everything will go fine then. So it's very important to watch the first layers. Then when the printer is done, fun begins, but not immediately. Because when the printer is done and the print bed is still at its ending position, you have to wait until the print bed cools down. The printer gives a display, a display warning, and it says wait for cooling down. So you can pick your print off the bed, but you have a fair chance of ruining your captain tape. So when you wait for the bed to cool down, you'll see that your printer starts to lower the bed. And then it's time to get the print loose from the bed. The thing is that sometimes when you use captain tape and glue stick, you will see that your print is very, very sticky to the bed. And the, the way to get it loose is sometimes to get a little spray water around the print, and then that spray water will uh, start to, 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 uh, to eat the glue you have here. So when the glue is eaten away, then you can easily remove your print. This is the first lesson on how to print with the XYZ printing DaVinci Pro 1.0. There will be lots of more lessons on this channel. So subscribe to my channel, maybe like it if you like this video, and I hope to see you again in another video. Thanks for watching.